there, good looking. Welcome to my knee friendly cardio workout. This is the perfect workout to do if you have sensitive knees or if you don't like to squat or lunge or if you don't really like to get up and off the ground, up and down a lot during a workout, this is the workout for you. We also don't need any equipment, so it's the perfect home workout. And yeah, we're gonna get right into it. But before we get going, if you're new to the channel, I would be honored if you subscribed because I would love to keep working with you. So click that red subscribe button, click the notification bell, and let's do this as a team. All right, lace up those runners. Let's go start sweating. Hello there. Hey, welcome to my living room. Hey, I'm PJ from fitnesswithpj.com and I help women over the age of 40 reclaim the tush of their 20s. Listen, I've been a personal trainer and instructor for 25 years. I'm 50 years old myself and that is why I started this channel, to give us a space for workouts that work for us and our goals. So I am so happy you joined on. Now listen, let's get warmed up. As we warm up, I'll chat about the workout. Hands on hips, let's start with some hip circles. You'll notice I have an assistant here. To my left is gorgeous George. He's my nine month old uh, shepherd, long haired shepherd. Hopefully he remains a good boy and doesn't decide to chase my ankles like he was doing earlier. But you know how puppies are, two more. Sometimes we forget he's a puppy because he's so big. <laughs> and we have to remind ourselves, oh right, he's still a puppy. He's still stupid as hell. <laughs> oh, I know you're not, are you, buddy? He's actually the smartest dog we've ever had. It's crazy how smart German Shepherds are. Last two. And one. All right, take it to one side of the mat. We are just going to laterally step it out. Now, dependent on how your knees feel, you can sink down a bit deeper if that feels good for you, and then down a bit deeper for you more advanced people. But again, I want you to work with what feels good. I programmed this workout to be knee friendly, so there'll be very little movement in the actual knee joint itself. Instead, what we'll do is we'll hit the quads, the hamstrings, the glutes, and the outer hips through movements through the hip area, okay? Now we have three rounds of five moves. We ladder down our time. So we start with one minute, second set, 50 seconds, a final set, 40 seconds. Final two moves will be on the mat. There'll be concentrated work into the quad and glutes. But the majority of this workout, we are standing. Hopefully you like my new mic I got too. I'm loving it, except my earrings don't fit properly with it on. I know. <laughs> I've complained about this before. All right, last few. And shake it out. All right, little kicks here. Same leg. See if you can get the foot right up to the hand, not the hand coming down to the foot. What we're trying to do is get some active range of motion here in the hamstring. Warm up the glutes as well. Four more, three, two, one. Other side, here we go. Up, up. Good boy. Last four, three, two, one more. One, excellent, march it on the spot. All right, we have a 10 second break in between each move, by the way, and this is what we'll do in between each one is keep the feet moving, keep the march. First 60 seconds is tap out jacks using those arms. All right, tightening that core, working those hips and thighs. You ready? Let's do it. Round one, here we go, up, up. So I hope you're having a good day wherever you are. If you're not, you'll feel 100% better by the time you're done the workout. Trainers promise. One minute here, and then we move into a single-sided drill, which will really fire up the core as well. Woo, I feel my shoulders.
time. All right, here we go. So single-sided, what we're going to take is that right leg. I want you to bring it out to your side for four times. So just sort of back and side, four, three, two, one. Now bring it across and bring the other, leg, or other hand, sorry, twist across. Good, I'm having a real hard time with English right now. So it's four of each, ready? Four, three, two, one. Twist knee up, four, three, two, one. Good. So the outer leg lift is literally going on a bit of an angle behind you. So we get glute and outer hip. And now we get hip flexor, quad, and fire up those obliques. One minute here. You're going to feel the other leg as well. <laughs> Challenging your balance. So try to keep those eyes on something stationary to help balance you out. Time, march it on the spot. All right, other leg. Here we go, hand behind the um, ear. Ready, and you lift it up, four. And again, it's going out behind you slightly and to the side. Now twist it, four, three, two, one. Four, three, two, one, great job. Other knee is slightly bent. It's what we call your stabilizing leg. feel that other hip though. Watch out George, you can get kicked in the head. Time. All right, we're taking it into a single leg deadlift. Lie down bud, lie down. Good boy. Okay, so I want you to give me a slightly bent left leg and put a little bit of weight in that left leg. Everything else is in the right. Now hip hinge for me, come down. Okay, so what we call a deadlift. Right, like that, excellent. Now give me three of these, so three, two, flat spine, one. Now this leg that you have tippy-toed on, kick it, yeah? Just once, go. Same leg, three, two, push through the glutes, one, kick it, excellent. So we've got a bit of a weight, again, on that stabilizing leg but we're feeling the majority of the work in this right side, working into the glutes and hamstrings, keeping the spine neutral, chest up, head up, good, and then kicking with the other leg. Here we go, three, two, one, Let's finish it off, kick, good. March it on the spot, same thing, other side. So, you fix my mat, it's all crooked. Slightly bent, right leg, okay? So just a bit of weight. Now bend that other leg, come down for three. See if you can get the fingertips to the ground. You may not be there as you warm up. You could get there, and then one kick. Make sure I don't kick George in the head. Three, that would not be cool. Two, one, and kick. Good, three, two, one, and kick. Three, two, one, you go as fast as you feel you can go maintaining this form though. So if you can match my speed, great. If you can go faster, good for you. But if you're not quite there yet, don't worry about it, right? You're your own competition right now. Time. All right, last move of the drill, and then we're going to drop the time to 50 seconds. We have a hamstring curl, single, single, and then two in a row here, okay? Ready, go. Heel to bum, single, single, double, single, single, double, 
Excellent. Now, if the knees feel up to it, you can do a deeper squat in between. Up to you, though. It's two singles, one double. Knee stays under the hip. Working hamstrings here and glutes. Single, single, double. Good. Now you can add the arms. Single, single, double. Single, single, double. You got it. Whoop. I did two doubles in a row. Well, almost did it again. <laughs> Time. March it on the spot. Time's being dropped down to 50 seconds. Tap out jacks is our move. Get yourself ready. Keep those feet moving. Ready? And begin. Tap out. Arms up. So if you do any of my other workouts, sometimes we'll do jumping jacks, and this is a great way to tone it down, right, if you don't like the jump action. So don't be afraid as you're doing other workouts, be it mine or other trainers, and you sub out certain moves for ones that feel better for you. No matter what trainer you're using, it's all of our goal to get you feeling good without hurting you. So you're the best judge of that, okay? Make sure you're working within what feels good for you. And each day is different too, so respect that of your body. Time. All right, right leg. It's four side leg lifts and then four knees up, okay? March down the spot. Here we go, hand behind the head, ready? And it's four, three, two, one, four, three, two, one. Again, you're going to feel the other leg, no doubt about it. Time, marching on the spot. Other side coming up. Good boy, George. Huh? Yeah. Ready? Lift it up. Four, three, two, one, twist it, four, three, two, one, four, three, two, one. I love the way this makes my hips and glutes feel. You can really feel them fire up. Both important muscles to keep strong for healthy knees. Oh gosh, just fell over, just lost my balance. March it on the spot. Okay, this is our three single leg deadlifts to one kick. So let's start with the right leg as your working leg. Hip hinge, remember, keep that neutral spine. If you can get down to the ground with the fingertips, awesome. If not, no worries. Three of them, and then kick out. Good. Three, two, one, kick. Same leg for the full 50 seconds. Two, one, kick. Three, two, one, and kick. Three, two, one, and kick. Three, two, one. Three, two, one, kick. All right, march it on the spot. 
Single, single hamstring curl with a double. You can add arms if you'd like. Get the feet apart, ready, it's single, single, two in a row. Good, knee stays under the hip. You bend the knees as much as you feel like in between. So you can go deeper or little. One, two. Almost there. Time, march it on the spot, final set, 40 seconds. Changing up the timer. All right, smiles on, we get a water break after this. Ready, jumping jacks, go. Get those arms up, come on. Excellent, chest up, head up, breathe. Whew. Sometimes it just feels good not to do a squat or lunge, doesn't it? <laughs> My hips are loving this workout. <laughs> I have a lot of no squat, no lunges time on the channel. So if you like that, by all means, please subscribe, go check them out. Okay, right knee, side leg lifts for four. Ready, go. Lead with the heel, go slightly behind you. Four in a row, and now four with a twist. Four, three, two, one. Four, three, two, one. Time, march it on the spot. You can't see it because he's just off camera, but uh, George is getting restless. Ready, other leg, this is gonna mean trouble for us in a bit, I think, four, three, two, one. Hi, bud. Time, arch it on the spot. Okay, three single leg deadlifts to one kick. Here we go, little bit of weight on that opposite leg, hip hinge, neutral spine down for three, two, go lay down buddy, one, kick it, good boy, three, two, one, kick it. So we still haven't got the cat and George to like each other. Well, George loves the cat. <laughs> The cat, not so much with George. I don't think the cat will ever come around. Give me a kick, finish it. Good job, march it on the spot. Other side coming up. Here we go, softness in that working leg. Ready, go down, neutral spine, so keep the head up a bit. I find when we look down, we tend to round the upper back, so we want to keep everything neutral. So the same spine you have standing is the same length and same spine that you have when you hinge forward here.
Oh, I feel this one. Hey, finish it. And march it on the spot. All right, our hamstring curls, single, single, double. Add arms if you'd like, feet apart, ready, go. Single, single, two in a row. Great job. Bend the knees as much as you want, remember. Time. All right, march it out. <sighs> Deep breaths in. Drive the knees up. Chest is lifted. <sighs> Couple of breaths here. And then our final two moves are we're going to isolate the quads in a super cool move that requires no knee bend. And then we'll lie down for some single leg bridges to get into the hamstrings and the glutes. So if you need some water, now is the perfect opportunity to grab some. If you're unable to get on the floor due to the place that you're in or you just don't like to get down, then it was great to see you. Make sure you subscribe to the channel. Otherwise, we're going to head down onto our butts in three two, and one. Okay, make your way down for me. Nice and tall on the spine, so I'll go to my side here. You may want to lean back a bit for this, but we're placing our hands back there to help support us and keep ourselves upright. Now, from this position, I want you to kick the right leg out a little bit. We're not going to worry about it. Left leg's out just a bit. Now, pretend you have a mini hurdle that that left leg's going to lift up and over, okay, tightening into the quad. The further you lean back, the easier the move becomes. So you adjust accordingly. So let's have some room here for that left leg to travel up and over that imaginary hurdle. Support ourselves, abs engage, really lift the chest up. You can have a slight bend in the knee by all means. For most of us, it'll just come naturally because 99% of us have tight hamstrings myself included. Woo. Feel that in the quad? If you don't know where the quad is, now you know. <laughs> Woo. So we have two sets, time of each leg. So let's get that left out, readjust to our posture. We don't want to round too much. We want to lift up and now lift that other leg up and over. Now, are you like me with a noticeable difference? Yes, I am right leg dominant, so this quad is having no problems picking my leg up higher. So don't fret. We all have these leg imbalances. They tend to be the more dominant side, right? So my right is more dominant, which makes sense because I'm left-handed. Usually it's the opposite leg that's more dominant. But it's moves like this that'll help balance everything out. Shake it out. Okay, second set into your left side. Again, readjust the posture, lift the chest up. Ready and lift. I know this looks like a really innocent exercise, but it is not. Woo. Time. Woo. All right, last one here, and then we're on our bums. We are going to lie down and move into single leg bridges to work the opposing muscle groups of the quad. Ready? Go. Almost there. 
time on your backs just your left foot on the ground as you drive the hips up you can pull that right knee in towards you a bit heels close to the bum most of the weight is in that left heel while we try to lift the hips and get into a big glute bridge so if you've done my workouts before, you know that the single leg bridge is my sub in my workouts. If we're doing stationary lunges and lunges don't work for you, this is a great move to do to hit the legs without affecting the knees. Time, other leg, ready, push through that heel, get set and drive those hips up. So here we really engage into the glutes and hamstrings. You'll get a dynamic stretch through the quads and hips, which is kind of nice after the last move we did. Time. Okay, last set. Here we go. One more each leg and then we stretch. Ready, set, and go. Drive up. Good. Push those hips up high. Time. Last leg. Get yourself ready. Get set and go. Drive up. Time. Pull the knees into your chest. Maybe give them a hug. Let them rock side to side. And release the left foot to the ground. Extend the right one up to get into the hamstrings. We did it. Great job. So great little workout. This is also, if you're an intermediate uh, exercise or even in advance and you're not feeling that good and you just feel like you need to move your body this is a good little workout for you if I'm not feeling right I always have this one workout I do it's not as strenuous as my others but I know okay I can do that that's not that bad and I always feel better when I do it right okay now cross this ankle the other thigh pull in for figure four The whole goal with workouts is to be consistent. That is the only magic formula to results. So if there are people whose physique you admire, they didn't get it from a bottle. They didn't get it from a pill. Right, George? Oh, thank you. I got kisses. Aw. That's very kind. Oh, wow. Thanks. Okay, you need to lie down, though. We're doing a YouTube video. Other leg, start with hamstring stretch and press it up. Can you lie down? I know you just want to play. Lie down, lie down. Good boy. Feel that stretch behind the thigh. And then cross that leg over, pull in, get into figure four. I would rather you take a moderate approach to your workouts and consistently do them than go like a banshee and burn out, take a break, and then go like a banshee again, and burn out and take a break. 
So consistency. Lie on your side. Bring the top heel towards the bum. Knee lines up with the hip. Get into the quad. And other side. And come into a seated position. Take the legs together, butterfly stretch. Bring the hands behind you to help support you. And hey, thank you so much for joining me. Now, a few things before you go. If you are new to the channel, we would love for you to subscribe and click the notification bell, and that way YouTube can let you know every time I release a new workout or video. Second, if you've done the workouts in the past, hey, we could use your support on Patreon. For as little as $3 a month, you can help us keep the workouts here on the channel for free for the world. Um, I've got the, all the information down below, but we would love to have your support. And then finally, leave a comment below. I would love to hear from you. And if you liked this knee-friendly workout, I'd appreciate a thumbs up. Have yourself a great rest of your day. Mwah! Good boy, George. Hey, and if you are like super brand new to the channel, you may not know, I have a free three-week fitness program on my website just waiting for you. So the web page is down below. You can click on that link. It'll take you directly there. You answer a couple of questions so that the workouts can be personalized and tailored to you. And then for 21 days, I will send you some of my best workouts to help you get fit at home. Hope to see you there.